slided out. Nice. Hi everyone. If you followed the project so far, you'll know that we have been stripping down the engine from Swampy's MGTF. Cylinder 4 was low on compression and we found the valves were gummed up with what seems to be burnt plastic. Unfortunately, we also found score marks on the bore, so took the piston out, and this is what we found. Chunk out the piston there. Although it is scrap, Swamps has Sonic cleaned it so that it's easier to see just how bad it is. Interestingly, this engine has got pistons from a 135, which is actually the non-VVC engine. Swampy's engine, of course, is the 160 brake horsepower VVC version. This engine certainly seems to be a mismatch of parts. There is a receipt showing a replacement head was fitted about five years ago, so it's possible that this has got a VVC head on a standard 135 engine block. Most of the cleaning has been completed now. The sump has been done off camera and one of the last big jobs is the cam carrier. Right mister, let's do it. I thought you meant bag as well. It's much better isn't it? Wow, look at that. Turn it upside down shall we? And does this go in there? Not right now. They're way cleaner aren't they? Right, stop uh, and that's the bit for the MG. That's it, that's cool. What have you got there, Charlie? Excellent, a replacement piston. This is going to be dead awkward, I'm just thinking whether to just do that. Yeah. Very gently though, we don't want to take any more of them. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Every mic on matters now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> and the double ducks are on hand to make sure everything goes smoothly. <laughs> what if we just have this do it and then you tighten it up afterwards? Yes. yes. Fifteen more to go. Uh, good. Can we get in from underneath and drop it in? Or? Yeah, it looks like you can. Looks like you have. Mm. <laughs> like that, and then see if I can. Yeah, use two tools and twist that it. One. Yeah, that's all right. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right. 
Well, that's the longest one. Don't know yet, do we? It was the longest one of the two that we've done. We leak yeah. tested the other side as well, so Phil right. put it at a crazy angle to yeah. make the valves horizontal. Right. And then filled it with brake fluid and cavity. And sure. nothing came out. So. Yeah, I'm released. Hey. Oh, good. Fantastic. As you can see, we've got a lot of the head ready. We just need to get assembling. The cam ladder needs to go on the top and once the cam ladder's on we can test fit these VVC mechanisms. It's basically, that's the, that must be the alignment in there. Yeah, and then there goes to that one. And that falls onto that like that. Nice. Must be that way. James Gasket one. Yeah, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Arms off then. And as Big Side will demonstrate now, some of these gaskets do actually fit on okay, and some of them don't. So this is one of the original ones, which seems to fit on, and then clips into the holes absolutely fine, and eventually goes flush which is how we want it to be but if we try one of the other newer ones that seem to have slightly too big a rubber recess on them they will not force fit into the holes they will not go in and they we've tried doing some clamping and various other things to test them out they chafe the rubber off the sides of these wonderful rings here and that is about as far as we got. Unfortunately, we ran into an issue with this, which is the gasket for the VVC mechanism. Uh, for some reason, uh, the recessed nodule here has far too much rubber around it on the ones that we received. Now, we don't know whether that's because it's actually supposed to be like that and it's supposed to be force fitted when it's done up, uh, but we did have a look and we spoke to some people from uh, MG Motorsport who uh, did actually say to us, don't bother with getting new ones, just use existing ones, which would be okay if one of the existing ones hadn't been damaged. So we've got some work to do to try and work out what we do with that. We are going to set to with that fairly shortly. That's going to be in the next video. Um, the plan is to try and do some test fitting of the existing gaskets um, that we've got, the one that we've got left, and then try and use the two that we've got that we ordered that seem to be too large. And we've also got another one that came through that seems to be the right size. It's only fractions of a millimetre, I think 8.2 millimetres on uh, the ones that fit and 8.4 on the ones that, that don't seem to fit very well. Um, going up to 8.8, .8, which um, means that it, it just cuts off all of the rubber when you try and uh, 
force fit that he's in, which it doesn't seem right. So a little bit more research required. Next video should be us getting these back together. We're going to do some experiments with this. Uh, hopefully we'll get some of that recorded. Um, and then we shall see how we get on. Thank you.